might be um, just as a bonus, we'll do a little hatching, right? So um, the simplest way to to hatch is to use to is to use straight hatching, right? Um, interesting thing about hatching is that uh, it it there like now there's you can do it any way you want. It used to be considered an error to do this every time. So on the return stroke, you would make a little hook. Um, you can use that hook sometimes to like hook around and start to to create cylindrical object objects as you hatch. Um, but hatching basically just has to go with whatever direction that the form goes. So if you're hatching a box, it just goes along with the box. Right? If you're hatching a cylinder, it just goes along with the cylinder. Right? In terms of fine art, you can hatch any direction you want, right? As long as you build up the value. Like you can go in and you can like scribble even and that can that can take uh, that can do a bunch of texture and you can just scratch like that. But um, in terms of doing a more communicative style of drawing, you, you probably want to hatch along with the forms, right? So your hatches can go this way as well, right? And that's called cross hatching. Because any given form, you can describe it in, in at least two different directions. So here, um, easy thing to think about is like, this is going to be basically a version of shading, right? So like normally we would just go in sh and, and shade. So we're on a, um, a separate hatching layer here. So I can go in and I can say, well, I know this is going to be dark down here. So I'm going to start there. Right. And I can do my second direction of cross hatching because I know it's going back. And these, the second direction that I'm going, um, parallel to the, to the um, length of the car, I'm kind of doing those a little bit in perspective to build that up. And I want to build up the hatching until it looks like a mass. Right, or a, a bunch of tone until it looks like a shadow and not a bunch of a bunch of little lines. Right, um, easy to overdo hatching. So here, on these tires, I can do a little bit of cross hatching to kind of help the darkest parts emerge. There's going to be a bunch of shadow up here. Right, there's going to be some shadow here. shadow on the bottom of the tires, right? This stuff's going to be largely dark. One of the things I can do is I can give a little line weight to fake, um, to sort of fake a hatch. Um, then here, you know, this wheel well is curved, so I can do a little bit of stuff like this to kind of help indicate the curve. And then here, this curve changes direction. So I can show this curve like kind of changing direction, which is kind of fun. If I want to, I can do a little hint of line work. I can also turn off my construction layers at this point, so I can just focus on the style of the, of the vehicle, right? <coughs> right? Then I can go back in, do the same thing with the back tires and start filling in, right? This tire I can basically treat as a flat shape on the back. And continue on from here, right? So here, this is all this is all part of the dark paint. So I can go through and give some curved hatching to kind of help this corner turn, right? And I can run that dark hatching all the way up if I want. Here, it's going to turn again. Right, it's very rounded on the back, so I'm going to do double like round hatching. And I'm going to contrast that direction with this direction of the spare tire. This is going to be like the inside of the bumper, so that's all probably going to be tire. And 
and on the bumper I can throw in a few hatch marks here and there. Give it some little edges. Again, make sure I got my hood ornament on. And throw in a bit of hatching on the windows, kind of give it a little reflection. You can draw um, extra bonus details. They're kind of like you know drawing in seats and things like that. I can give a little bit of detail to the headlights if I want. Give it a little edge there. And to that, give it a little edge. Cool. And so now we have like the hatched kind of version. So this is another approach that you can take to kind of develop the the value. So. Um, Hopefully this, this is understandable and, and you get a lot out of this sort of method. Um, and we'll do, um, we'll do one more uh, vehicle video because I wanted to focus in on being able to reconcile the wheels because a lot of people have trouble with the, with the wheels and um, it is one of the classic problems of drawing boxes and drawing things in perspective is how do you reconcile uh, the box form with the cylinder. So we'll pick up again uh, for a third part there.